So you're happy with this formula. It's just a formula, okay? And I'll show you how to use it in just a second. But before we do, we need to understand this concept in a little bit more detail of multiplying two vectors together. Now, I said there's two ways of multiplying vectors together. Uh, one of them is called the dot product or the scalar product. So the dot or the scalar product. And the reason being is because we put a dot between those two vectors and the answer results in a scalar. So you can either call it the dot product or you can call it the scalar product. I'm giving you both so that you're aware of it in case you see it sort of in books or something. And it's really not that bad. So let's say, for example, I've got two vectors here, u and v. u is 7, 5, and v is 3, 2. And if I want to find the dot product of these two vectors, I would write u dot v, u dot v, OK? Thank you. And the way which this works is by multiplying corresponding elements together. So I would multiply the x. Uh, direction, the across direction components together. So 7 multiplied by 3. And then I would add that, I would add that to the y's multiplied together. So 5 multiplied by 2. Okay, so the up and down components multiplied together. That there is the dot product. So I multiply corresponding elements together. So that multiplied by that, and that multiplied by that. And I just add them two together. So I add them together. So let's just do a bit of simplification. 7 times 3 is 21. 5 times 2 is 10. If I add them together, the answer is 31. Okay. So you're happy u dot v is just that multiplied by that plus that multiplied by that. Okay. And the answer results in a scalar. The answer results in just a single number. It's just a value. Okay. 